What's up everybody? It's Alana with Jock Life and we're out here at the Vista Ridge Golf Course for the I Have a Dream charity golf event. So let's go check it out. Save me some? <laughs> no? What's your name? Kevin. Kevin? <laughs> All right. So you were a former dreamer. What has propelled you to get to this point now since being one to helping other people out now? That's what it's all about, you know, not forgetting where you came from. And uh, I grew up in Atlanta and I didn't have anything. And without the I Have a Dream program, I would have never got a second chance because I was a high school dropout. And uh, the I Have a Dream gave me a second chance, you know, when they made us a promise, once a dreamer, always a dreamer. And so I just kept that same motto. And then when I was ready to go back to school, the I Have a Dream was right there. And um, I told my financial advisor, as soon as I make it to the NBA, I was going to make sure I give as much back to the I Have a Dream program that I can. And uh, that's basically what I'm doing and uh, anything that I can do in any state, you know, right here in Colorado, you know, I try to do as much because I live here, but as far as traveling, I go to different dream groups all over the world. So I'm thinking 500. Come show them the pin. Okay. Come up close. He's got um, Greet them and everything, and we just say hi, and then we tell them if they want to play a game, it's guessing how many teas are in the jar. Well, it is, it means a lot for me for the golfers being here today because it actually tells me that there is actually people out there that care for us, the dreamers, and that they want to see us be successful in the future and they want us to have like a future, a nice future and go to college. And when I grow up, well, I don't know what I want to be yet. There's still a long way to go. And then, but normally I want to study equinox science. That's a study on horses. Dreamers helps me by like staying on focus on school. What's the biggest reward that's come from this for you? Oh, just seeing the, the kids' reaction when they know that I made it and the background that I came from, as far as uh, coming from a single parent home, my mom and dad was on drugs and my grandmother basically raised me. She had seven boys and seven girls of her own, and uh, so I was living with her, and uh, just telling them the story, the way I came up, and uh, that right there is very inspirational <laughs> to them, letting them know that uh, no matter what, you know, there's always gonna be obstacles that you're gonna have to get over, and uh, just, just so that they can see me in the NBA knowing that I made it. <laughs> 